Sadly, this is the end of the story for 22-year-old Colleen Payne of Mount Airy, another victim of the deadly opioid addiction problem here in our community. She died in my arms. We've gone through hell. The images may be hard to watch, but Caroline Hanlon says she wants people to feel her pain, and maybe no other parent has to suffer a loss like hers. She's supposed to bury me. I'm not supposed to bury her. I will never, ever be the same. Painful because she didn't know her daughter had a drug problem. My daughter was a selfie queen. <laughs> she had the bluest eyes you ever want to see. Eyes that turned sickly when the drugs began destroying Colleen's heart and kidneys. But even that didn't stop her from crushing and cooking pills for injection. These children shoot up between their toes, between their fingers. Any place there's a vein, a child can shoot up. I've learned when she died, every month after my daughter died, there was a child that died after her from a drug overdose every month for five months. And when she tried to get help for her daughter's addiction? It takes you two months to get a, an appointment. By that time, you're already hooked back on the drugs. They need something else down here for these kids. Hanlon says even her friends abandoned her. I'm a good mother but they don't think I am because I had a child that died of drugs. I hate to tell people, but your child is doing it too, but you don't know it. It's not the rich kids only. It's not the poor kids only. It's everybody. People have looked at me like I'm dirt because of this. People don't realize what it's like to lose a child, and especially one to an overdose. To sit there and hold them in your arms and just say to yourself, what did you do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. People need to wake up. That's why she's speaking so openly now, adding more urgency. Caroline's 26-year-old son is hooked on prescription drugs. His newborn baby is addicted. And I said, are you next? That's what I did, because I know in my eyes that I probably will be burying in another child. Because there's nothing in here for him. I want to punch something. Family friend and recovering addict Calvin Gammons understands at one time he was addicted to prescription drugs. I've never used a needle, you know, or nothing like that, but have I been to the streets and only, yes, ma'am, I, I have. I, I've been to that side of the dark side. He says he turned from the dark side after Colleen died and police arrested his drug-addicted brother-in-law for murder. I'm not scared to go on TV and say that we need, uh, communities need to come together. We need to come together as a community to do something to save kids from even getting to that point. Open up the gyms. He's been clean over a year now. He wants others to know there is hope. There's more than hope. It, it's there. We can all beat it. We all just, we all just gotta have that little extra push. We gotta want to. Even a little, see a little prick in her arm or a little something on the child's arm and it starts getting bigger and bigger. Something's wrong. If your child's attitude changes, something's wrong. If he starts staying away from the family, something's wrong. Find out what it is. If he starts hanging around the wrong people, Stop it. Don't be like me. Don't bury a child. Mm -hmm.